my family history. Happy birthday to my mother, my late mother, wherever she really is. Always in the moment. That was my brother's ex-wife, Nikki, I think. My mum never had a mole. That's the sixtieth birthday I put on to her. Right, show them history. It's my counties. With my daughter, she lives. Seems like she's still. And they did a number on her. So, from who my family are. Genealogy. So, my last name should be that. Who would be as my mother? Her grandfather. And which the ball Kent? So, I'm just looking at the dates. So, I assume the male there, born in Kent, England. First marriage he had in 1935. Right, then he had. And uh, I'm quite sure, but this is right. 1891, 20th August, born, was John. Uh, Okay, born in London. Uh, George John Lansdowne, born in 1991 in London. Um, you got married 23rd of May 1915 in Kent. You died, and I didn't even know him. Because obviously... I wasn't born yet. Uh, 16th of May 1962, Whistable Kent, he died. Um, deceased. And uh, the father, his father was James Lansdowne. So the wife was um, Wintz. Win the ball Kent, so I don't know how they met. And uh, Isaac Ethel Maud Isaac, born 23rd Jan 1892. He died in, didn't even know that, 1966 70 in Marsh in Kent. Her father deceased. Um, Andrew John Thomas Isaac and who had they had two children which was my mum's grandfather Charles Frederick Lansdowne uh born the thirtieth march nineteen sixteen in Chatham, Kent and they had a daughter Ethel, Mary Ethel Lansdowne, born uh, January 30th, 1919, in Kent. So that's the first part. I can't find all the other... All the other uh, breakdown of the family tree. I know I've got it somewhere. Could 
because it would have been my mum's birthday today. I've just got a lot of our old handwriting. Yeah, she, she did a copy for me about the abuse I was getting when she was Elizabeth. She kept an old name, her handwriting. It's all gaslighting going on, and this was dated the 5th of the night, 2011. To the housing company. And the gas on was when my late mum used to visit me. Here's your evidence. The numerous complaints are being made by misguided tenant, you see. Right, yeah, it was number 13, Stuart, still there, number 2, uh, Kirk, number 12, and former people at number 10, former people at number 9, but the new perks moved in. When she, my mum had a mobility scooter, I used to visit me. Here's your evidence. And when she used to visit me at my home, and your wife parked it close by in my home that misguided tenant tried to suggest my parking under the stairs huh. which what they've done today you wouldn't believe knowing the type of tenant you have allowed in that lock ever since my daughter moved in 18th night 2009 I do not trust the safety of my mobility scooter if left beyond my sight and hearing. That's my mum for you. And also with my restricted walking ability. It's always been discriminatory. Right? And, uh, yeah. So, 19th of August, 2011. Did lack the courage and decency to discuss her so-called problem person to person? <laughs> my mum for you. And this woman, that was number 10 then, those who seem to listen to her will be referred to the Equality Disability Rights Commission. Those of us who have to ride these scooters often wish we have a choice. You with the healthy legs, be grateful. <laughs> Good old mum. In answer to the uh, aforementioned tenant, number 10, um, I can only assume that she must have been under some kind of influence to have gained this kind of abusing which she claims. To have gained by falling over my scooter, which she didn't, by the way, that individual I used to live with, and could not have gained such in that manner, as she did not wish quietly a person to person discussion. Seeing it, it is my scooter she's clanging off. I have dealt to. To the verbalisation, if you and your colleagues agree with her, I'm astonished. The only main problem could be a semi-blockage reference of fire escape, which they've all changed again now. I would expect a decency, a knock, not a bang, on the door, and then we, and then would hear or smell it anyway. Um, I don't know what she meant by that. Um, I would send a copy of this letter to the aforementioned authority, possibly others. It's a copy that she made for me. See, I've been gaslighted ever since I moved in. It's all set up. Thanks to my late mum, he helped me in a lot, I think.
Oh, I think I set up everything that I need to do. Yep, it's always been that way. Then they got to my adult son and daughter years ago. So I've got old printout proofs of my other family members. But yeah, there's the evidence of me, uh, my late mum's letter, you know, own handwriting. Stuart has always been behind me, set me up and talked to me, and uh, my late mum's parents, she's always meant well. Always meant that even though we never really got on that well and then my late mum passed away I've got all the cards sent back to me how times change all growing up you see my son and daughter at the time and uh, all these years and that was my late mum when she got convinced to join the Mormons we were in Cornwall I was only a little baby all those years ago and she our friends my older brother all those years ago in Cornwall yeah, so we were the first family to have in Cornwall. So, but I don't know how that sign got there. I don't know if it was put there, but I don't know. Toto was taken anyway. Show me that. All these years, the job is not around in the way because. All this manipulation of my own family and son and grandchildren. How these years changes. All this goes on. And my daughter Hi, it's me Jessica called today. I know I didn't give you any notice but you're no longer on the phone. Just called say hi to see how you are and doing I unfortunately might want to see me and see how I am doing my grounds. I might call later if I didn't get too late. And this is when my daughter was talking to me. My own daughter. They manipulated her. Another adult in her own life. You know? All these years, I've still got all the evidence of who's done what and how. It's very hard to forgive those that's done all this to you. is about forgiveness and it's on to all these years eh my own family I didn't know a lot of about my history and my upbringing. You soon get to find these things out. Yeah, 
remember my late mum pa. A lot of things come out in the wash eventually. So, happy birthday to my mother, my late mum. When I was in the Mormons, nineteen eighty, and I left in nineteen eighty one. I was raised in the religion and uh, the occult. My mum didn't know the Freemasons. She stayed in it. That one, when I was 12 years old, 1978. So I won it because I got that. Need to work. On the date seventh of October. Do you know who the Freemasons were? And I had my son on the seventh of October, and that was nineteen eighty four. Ironic, isn't it? And that's the age I was signing out.